welcome back sri krishna soft skills okay hope you are all well okay so today topic is one of the real time scenario so so now we will discuss about the dax as of now then we have seen the modeling part and the power query editor correct so now we are going to see the dax what is the general dax and how much important the dax then we will see uh, what is the dax what is the importance of the dax in the power bi that is the first question okay so uh, already we have all the calculation done like year by year and the year over year and then uh, last year sales and everything then we have done calculation in the power query editor in the m language so why we use for the dax actually first first of all what is the dax so the general is the dax is a data analysis expression that it is the definition of dax you are saying why we use the dax you told me only the dax data analysis expression yeah dax is a collection of functions and then operators you see whenever in the mathematical we use the sum addition and uh, subtraction and then divide and then multiplication correct so when you use for example a plus b a is equal to 5 b is equal to 6 for example a plus b is equal to a square plus b square plus a plus b like that then it will the principles the same principles we are applicable here in the dax so the this is the collection of functions the functions nothing but what are the functions sum and then addition and then calculate and then filter all all select all accept date year month quarter these are the function everything operators like plus symbol and minus and divided by is equal to and then greater than less than so these are the operation so this is the collection of functions and operator is called as a dax this is a simple question interviewer may not ask like they, they will ask tricky question so in the dax then we concentrate only measure column table these are the three component then we will think we will uh tr make it try to use these three functions frequently uh oftenly we use this measure column table when to choose measure when to choose column when to choose table either measure the name second name is the new measure column either you may call new column or the calculated column also table new table and then calculated table okay only these three about we are learning in the dax what is the measure what is the column what is the table okay yeah so first before going to then we will little bit later then we will see what is the measure and what is the column before that then we learn first what is the syntax for example anything then we want to learn then we before the syntax for example then we apply one principle a plus b is equal to a, a square plus b square plus a plus b that is some of the syntax what is sum so sum means it is a plus b in the bracket so then it will whatever you will give a b then it will sum so that is a syntax for that but in the measure or the table or the column anything anything in anything you want to do then these are the six steps involving whenever you write the measure whenever you write the anything then these are the six steps involving that is the syntax for the measure or the column or the table or the calculated column okay yeah then i will explain you one by one first step is you remember this when you remember this when you dax is easy okay the yeah, first one is measure name column first one is the measure or column or the table name okay second is the equal operator okay next is the function name which function you want to calculate function sum function uh, average function count function count x function filter function all function many functions okay there is the function name 
Next one is the open parenthesis and closed parenthesis. This is the open bracket and the closed bracket. So this is called as the fourth step is what is open parenthesis and the closed parenthesis. And the fifth is the table name. Whatever table then we will use the table name. Sixth is the column name. So in the column name. So this is the syntax for this one. You see just I am executing one measure here. Total sales. This is the sum of. Okay. This is the first one is the total sale is the measure name. Okay. This is the measure name. Okay. This is the measure name. First step. Second one is the equal operator. Equal operator. Third is the function name. Which is the function name sum. And fourth is the open parenthesis and then closed parenthesis. Correct. Fifth is the table name. This is the sales the table name. Sixth is the column name. You see table name, column name. These are six. So this is the measures syntax. How you navigate this one? Next thing is how you navigate. Here I am giving you. So this is the file home insert modeling. You see in the Power BI. Home insert modeling. Then go to the modeling. Okay. Here you may get. This is the new column. Here you observe this is the in the home in the modeling tab. When you click on the modeling tab, you may get this is the new measure and this is the quick measure. This is the new column and then this is the new table. Okay. This is about the measure. New measure. This is about the new column. Okay, this is the new table. You see, just only we have discussed na, new measure, new column, new table in the modeling. Okay. So, otherwise, then you may get here in the, for example, here in the data view, in the same, then you use the measure tools. You see, this is here, you see, this is the new measure and the quick measure. Okay. This is the one way navigation so then you will understand a little bit so when we are uh, uh, moving into the one class one class then you may easily understand so when to choose the column when to choose the like when to choose the measure okay when to choose the uh, calculated column all those things then you will understand only these three buttons only we will use much only these three three buttons in the measure entire measure either we use the Calculated uh, new measure or the new column or the new table. These three buttons only we use. Much. Okay. Yeah, this is a thing. Okay. So now you see. So uh, this is the navigation and the, this is syntax. Hope you understand navigation syntax. Clear. Okay, okay. So now then we move into the why why we need the DAX. So this is our second important question. If we want to analysis in the depth, then we will go for a DAX. So what is the analysis? Like year over year sales and the percentage of growth, like YTD, MTD, QTD, and some some complex calculations. So these many analysis, then we go for the DAGs. Got it? So we use for the some depth analysis, then we go for the DAG. The analysis is nothing but then year over year sales and the percentage of growth and then YTD, QTD and MTD. So these then we will learn in the DAGs. By using the DAGs, then we will calculate year over year sales and then growth. Okay, and what is the measure and the column? Measure is the scalar value. Now you understand. Measure is a scalar value. It will give the one only single result. It does not occupy any place in the Power BI. Okay, whenever you use the measure in the table or the visual, then it will working. Otherwise, it won't to act any. place okay column so it is a predetermined calculated value so now for example you see this is the one of the column then if you want to create then you will understand 
okay then we will calculate one measure and we will see when to choose the measure and when to choose the column then we will see these are then we will learn next class